thank you very much for this opportunity to present our paper, which has been recently published in the British Journal of Urology, and it's about fetal surgery of myelomeningo cell. We are aware that uh, neural lesion uh, provided by myelomeningo cell is from original uh, malformation, but also for the environment of amniotic fluid. So uh, the concept of performing prenatal surgery has theoretically advantages, which have been proved by the MOM study, which showed remarkable reduction in the need of ventricular peritoneal shunt and also improvement in the motor status of these patients at 30 months. Well, this published has, uh, study has been published in 2011, and uh, today it's well recognized the role of uh, fetal surgery of myelomeningo cell. After that, we have uh, performed the first prospective study in 2015. It was a preliminary experience. And after our study came out, the study, urological study from the moms, which showed uh, uh, some attempts to study this population, prenatal versus postnatal repair. But uh, due to the design of the method, the urological follow-up has been in var variables, uh, institutions, not in a single institution. So they were not able to collect your dynamic data properly. And this is a limitation of the paper. So uh, in also in a previous uh, study, we tried to classify the patterns of the neurogenic bladder in order to evaluate them more homogeneously. And now, uh, this is the article uh, we are referring to, the in utero myelomeningo cell repair in neurological outcomes in the first 100 cases in the prospective analysis. So this is uh, our registration of patients, as you see. From 2011, there was a progressive increase in patients that we admitted in our institution. Uh, and today, we approached the 100 cases. And uh, what were our findings? Uh, bladder capacity, as you see here, 40% uh, were normal, the other uh, part were with some alterations. Compliance uh, was also uh, an issue by this population. And in regards to uh, the bladder pattern, you see that uh, more than 50% of those patients had high risk pattern. And also uh, a good, uh, almost 30% of patients had the incontinent pattern. Altogether, that means the most cases, almost 80%, they have a need for urological because of the dysfunction of the bladder. You have also a proportion of patients with underactive bladder and a minority, about 15% of patients had what we called a normal pattern. So we could say, we could conclude that 85% of our cases, they have a significant uh, bladder dysfunction, which suggests us when we compared to the patients treated postnatally that uh, prenatal surgery uh, in regards to urological uh, system, in regards to bladder function, is not bringing some advantage. And very interestingly, we look at in this population and we see uh, patients who have hydronephrosis, high risk pattern was a major concern for this population and also the incidence of vasculitural reflex, uh, which were uh, almost 70% or even more for hydronephrosis of those patients with high risk, they are prone to have these significant complications. So uh, we conclude that uh, urological tract is also, uh, we have to keep following this population. We have to go ahead, uh, but unfortunately the same benefits uh, that we saw for ventricular peritoneal shunts and motor status, they could not be improved uh, in the urinary tract.